Blantyre. Blantyre. Um, I was born there and went to school there, and, and now I'm on this, you know, embarking on this mission of mm -hmm. speed reading. Okay, cool stuff. And can you tell us now, why do you think it's really important for Africa to learn how to read? It's important, to, you know, for Africans to read because there's a lots of things that are happening in Africa. War is happening. People don't have water. There's a poverty in Africa. People are not passing exams, you know, <laughs> the passing rate is low. So yeah. if there's a need, you know, we have to read it to combat so that mm -hmm. we need a people that can uh, take this Africa to another level. We need new yeah. leaders, intelligent leaders. Mm -hmm. Definitely, Absolutely. I agree with you. Now, how exactly did you start your entire outreach program throughout Africa? All right. Um, actually, you know, it's something that just happened, you know, because I read a lot. And I read lots of books, magazines, newspapers, encyclopedias. Mm -hmm. So then um, I started you know, in 2000, you know, with mm -hmm. uh, this country. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Now, you told me a story that you didn't like reading. Why did you not like reading? Yeah, it was like this, like, you know, I was young. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you tell a child to read a book, you know, the eyelids just become heavy. You just want to go to sleep right. and sleep. You just want to go to sleep, that's all. So, I thought my mom was evil. I thought she was a bad person. I thought she was really, you know, punishing mm -hmm. me. But now, I regret that I thought that way, because now, reading has taken me beyond my imagination. So, mm -hmm. it's very important. So, I hated reading. But as time goes on, then that passion just grew in me, and then I start even, you know, getting books and uh, reading mm -hmm. a lot every day and a lot, a lot. All right. And at what age were you when you actually started reading? I was actually, you know, five and six years old, as far as I can remember. I was very young, and mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, how old were you when you actually started speed reading? How old were you then? Okay, I must say that I was, um, how old are you? <laughs> 20, yeah, 20, 21, you something 20. like that, yeah. Okay, cool stuff. And what exactly is speed reading? Because some people at home don't understand when you say speed okay, reading. Okay, speed reading is when you can uh, pick up you know, a book or a magazine, um, encyclopedia, and then you read fast. You start from mm -hmm. the beginning to the end, and you read as quickly as you can. Right. So we got sl slow reading when you read something, and then you put it down because you, now you're tired and things like that. You can't finish it. You read one book for like a week. Mm -hmm. So speed reading helps you, encourages you to read a book within a day and finish it. Maybe read three books a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool stuff. And I want to know how long it takes someone to actually speed read. Instantly. Instantly, uh, to maybe teach someone. Two minutes, yeah, yeah. Two minutes. Do I don't quite reading? believe that. that. So, okay. <laughs> what we're going to do is a little later on, we're going to push you to the test and you're going to try to teach me how to speed read. No props. But maybe I can already speed read naturally, anyway. But anyway, okay, now, you travel throughout Africa and teach people how to speed read. Now, where exactly have you been? Okay, but I started, yeah, as I told you. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been to Masivingo, Harare, that's yeah. Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe. And I've yeah. been to Matola, Maputo, mm -hmm. uh, in Mozambique. In my country, there's four countries. So I'm remaining with the 49 countries to complete 49 over. countries to go. And that is your mission, to go through all of them and teach people how to yes, speed read. Yes, I work hard towards that. Okay, but now I want to I want to know from you why is it that you didn't t start teaching people in your own country before okay. you actually went out into other countries <laughs> to teach people? How to yeah, read? okay. In my country, to be honest with you, you know, like I can't compete with the people back there. You know, also, uh, people they read a lot. Okay, it's unlike South Africa, and we don't have lots of books there. It's very poor country. People read, and we don't have access to libraries. Mm -hmm. We even go to the mountain to read, to the bush yeah. to read, you understand? Just to mm -hmm. get that space and just to get that environment that will keep you confident, no one will disturb you. Yeah. So there are lots of people there. Mm -hmm. So when I, come to South, when I came to South Africa, education is easier and people are complaining that it's hard and all that. Mm -hmm. So, and people don't, don't read a lot. You've got lots of libraries, you've got new books. Yeah, and we, read, we read old books back there in Malawi, you know, books that are dating back to 1930s, 1950s, 1960s. Yeah. That's old books, you know? Mm. So yeah, you've got new books, new magazines, cheap newspapers and all that, but peeps are still failing to pick up a book and read and it completely over. So I guess we're taking it for granted. But I also want to know from you, how big a problem is illiteracy in Africa? I mean, you've been to some of the countries and you've seen that some people cannot read. Now, how big a problem do you think that is? Um, okay, I'll, I think I'll tell you from my perspective here in South Africa, because I've been to rural areas, villages and cities and suburbs and things like that, private schools and public schools and all that. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a huge problem that people can't read. I think you can find at the school, you can find only four, maybe three, you know, people that have that passion, mm -hmm. people that love books. They read every day and they read. They don't like, they don't mix up with the people that don't love books. And mm -hmm. they come back yeah. from school, they eat, and they read. You can see even the speed, you know, when they read, mm -hmm. they read fast, even fluently, you understand? So I can say that few people, that's why people are failing exams. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I'll talk to you a bit later on. But guys, I'm going to go big time. Now, guys, I'm going to ask you a poll question. Do you think that speed reading can help improve your marks at school? Or do you think, do you think that speed reading can help improve your marks at school? Or do you think, do you think, once again, is SMS or vote? Yes, no more vote. No, it's 34353. But right now, we do have a caller on the line. So, 